Hello everyone, it's Ord Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble Heroic Campaign Guide, I'm going to show you how to take down Tabitha in Dust Wallow Marsh. The heroic version of Tabitha stacks the odds even more against you, because these meeting stones, then has meeting stones where potions are being thrown. Now potions are only thrown at Tabitha's units, not on your units. So there's healing, there's stealth, and there's bloodlust. Especially stealth and healing are really annoying, because stealth means that those minis get to your base without being contested, and then this healing actually can outheal quite a bit of damage, so you need some impressive DPS to get rid of those. In addition to the meeting stones, there's also two gold veins over here, both already have gold at the start, and there's two chests over here and over there. And really, Tabata is mostly an economy fight. So you really, really want the key mini that you absolutely need in this one is the Dark Iron Miner. You want to take a stone with the Dark Iron Miner and you want it to mine some of this gold as soon as possible. Depending on where Tabata is going to start, depends on where you can put your miner. But you want to get this gold, you want to get these chests. If you can get control of the stones and you can get the gold and the chests, Tabata actually doesn't seem to have a lot of income. You can totally starve Tabata. And then once you have control of the map, then Tabata just doesn't have much that's coming at you and then you can easily win. The difficult part is surviving the early assault and contesting as much gold as you can early on in the game so that Tabata can't just keep swarming you and you will get more resources and then you will be able to push back. And once you have the stones, then it's pretty much over. This is the lowest level army that I did Tabata with. The minis are actually exactly level 18 on average, so minus 3.0 levels. And there are three minis here that I always use against Tabata. And those minis are the Dark Eye Miner, excellent mini here, really important for getting those stones and getting that gold. Then Quillbore and Harpies. Quillbore and Harpies are your best shot at actually killing Tabata because Tabata has AoE potions that it throws around, so Quillbore to turn it around, Harpies to kill it just works wonderfully. Also, they can, they can handle a lot of stuff that Tabitha is going to throw at you otherwise. Then I have Abomination here, and Abomination is really super, super strong here, because Tabitha often makes pushes like Stonehoof Torrent followed by an Ogre Mage, and that can be really painful to handle. But Abomination, hook that Ogre Mage, and you're good to go. Then for the final slots, something against Harpies, because there's also Harpies, and here I have Pyromancer. And then this final slot is quite flexible. Here I have a Banshee in that slot. You have to be a little bit wary with your Banshee, though, because there are Stonehoof Torrents, and Stonehoof Torrent can charge a Banshee and kill it. There's also Fire Hammers, and Fire Hammer can also potentially kill a Banshee, so Banshee is not easy to use in this map, but stealing some Fire Elementals, even stealing some Torrents when you place it correctly so that it doesn't get charged into can be useful, but there are many other ways to handle that. I will show you a bunch of different alterations. Almost every team that I use uses these four minis. So the Abomination, then the Dark Iron Miner, Quillbore, and Harpies. But then there's the question of Horde. There's always the question of Horde, and that Horde is the most difficult faction because Horde has the weakest arm slots. Horde, for example, cannot buff an Abomination. So I did struggle with Horde a bunch, but I have an answer for that one too. So I actually couldn't find two useful Horde minis for this one, so I'm using a Dark Iron Miner without the bonus slot. Because Dark Iron Miner's job is not to fight anyway, it doesn't matter that it has lower levels. And my secret source for Horde is Vorgen. Vorgen is going to ambush that Ogre Mage when the Ogre Mage is coming behind a Stonehoof Torrent, because otherwise it's just so incredibly difficult to handle. But because I cannot have Abomination, I'm using a Stonehoof Torrent of my own as my tank. So Stonehoof Torrent can also, also work against those Ogre Mages. But otherwise, I still have Quillbor, Dark Iron Miner, Harpies, and this Pyromancer here. So that sort of squad. Small alterations of the same team, but still grab that gold, starve Tabitha out of resources, and finish her off with Quillbor and Harpies, or with Abominations. And this is what it looks like with all families in action. So let's start beating Tabitha in factions in alphabetical order. Here's Alliance and that Dark Iron Miner. I see that Tabitha is positioning minis on the right stone, so I'm going to grab the left stone and start mining from there. Very important. And I was also trying to get grab the left chest. And now I have the Abomination on this army. And well, Abomination. I see you have an Ogre Mage. Well, I'm just going to grab that and blast away. 
this one I'm a little experimental. I'm using the troll here, but that could also be a pyromancer, of course. But troll seems to also do some work, so there are some alternatives that you can do around the same theme, around the same general idea. And just look at how much work those harpies put in. Harpies doing an excellent job. And now, well, I have gained control of the stones, I have gained control of the resources, and I'm ready to start pushing against Tabitha. Tabitha is quite resource starved at the moment. Tabitha has something, I mean, obviously Tabitha can still play some stuff out there, but not, not that much, to be honest. Once you get to this position, then just grab all the gold that you can, as soon as you can, and keep up the pressure, and we're going to be so good here. So, here we have this abomination. Well, that one is now almost dead, but I'm dro dropping in some harpies with a quill bore. Let's go blast away. Abomination even gets gets out there alive, <laughs> despite it has a tiny inch of health. And boom, Tabitha's already down. All right, same story. Tabitha with beasts. Again, I see, okay, Tabitha is placing stuff on the right. I will go left so that I'm going to be able to grab that gold, grab that chest, and then I will be able to get an Abomination to defend, because Abomination is just going to be wonderful here at defense. Here I'm also experimenting a little bit with well pegs, and maybe that positioning wasn't as great as it could have been, because I ended up losing them to the Ogre Mage, just because you have a couple of those slots that are, are a little bit flexible. Just trying to have some answers to Ogre Mages, Firehammers, and Harpies, in whatever way you deem deem desirable. There we go, Pyromancer is getting some work done. Now, Tabitha has access to one of the stones, but I currently want to fight for this stone. There are a fair bit of these ground minis that are melee minis, so Welpex do have the advantage they can shoot at them, and they cannot be shot back, but on the other hand, Fire Elemental is resistant, so I'm not sure if those Welpex were really that super strong. But, I mean, just one option among many others, depending on which minis you have leveled. Like, if you have some of these minis really high leveled and others are really low, then you probably don't want to use the low leveled ones. But Abomination is just Abomination is just wonderful in this map. I would not trade Abomination for anything, except for when I'm Horde and I have to. But now we have again reached this position, where we have the stones, we have gold, and see how little there's coming out. Tabata is so starved for resources at this point that we can just keep pouring in units into assault. And that, that's basically the story of this. The most difficult part of this fight is the early stages of the fight, when there's still a lot of stuff coming at you. Then some Blackrock action. Here we are full three levels below Tabitha's level. But, I mean, it's all gonna be good. Tabitha coming from the right again. Most of the time Tabitha will come from the right. Occasionally it will come from the left too, so pay a little bit of attention. Although, it depends on the levels. I actually think that with the Undead I, I ended up <laughs> putting my miner where Tabitha's minions were and then it died and I still won because I had like one level more or something. Anyway, here we are, fighting the early fight. This time I haven't been very successful in gaining control of the stones. I do have the healing stone. I consider the healing stone the most important one, because it's super, super hard to manage if those minions, when they get the healing, unless you get some really good DPS going on them, like harpies, they will just out heal. Like I even experimented with stuff like Blizzard, for example, and the healing, when my blizzard was a little bit lower level, the healing out, out healed my blizzard. So blizzard couldn't kill minis. But here we're fighting, this time a little bit more of a fight. But I was able to get control of the stones. Well, two of the three stones currently. But only has that one stone and we are, we are trying to push towards that one too. Trying to get the chests, trying to make sure that Tabitha will not have resources and that I will. And yeah, now now we're in a good state. We have all the stones, we have access to all the gold. Tabata can only attack me from her own position, which means that I will have ample time to set up units to defend whatever is going to come at me. And then I will just keep pushing and I will keep taking all the gold and I will keep winning. Like, that, that's the plan. 
And here we go, here we go. I managed to actually grab a stone, but I have a couple of unbounds because I have the quill bore and I have the miner. So thanks to a pair of unbounds, I can really quickly grab those stones again. Preferably before Tabata can even deploy troops at them. And then as long as I have the stones, they are mining harpies, so that is annoying sometimes, but it should all be good. And look at that abomination go. It's just... It places such a wonderful challenge on Tabata. Even though Abomination is not resistant, but the health pool of Abomination is just so just so vast. Tabata is going to be in trouble no matter what. Nora actually actually accidentally lost the stone. But I got it back, so no worries. Alright, the stone is almost ready, we can deploy. So Abomination tanking from the other side. Now we have Harpies coming from the other. And then Miner even survived, so the Miner will be able to reclaim the stone. And yeah, Tabata is taking a whole chunk of damage. I want to keep mining, I want to keep opening chests, and then I want to send units at the Manitan. Boom. Then the most painful one of them all, which is Horde. Again, Tabata placing minis on the right, so I will take the left, I will mine there, I will grab the grab the chest there. There I had to cycle away the kobold. I didn't have the minis that I wanted to play, so I just threw away the kobold. One gold lost, but it, it's okay. And here, the Borgen tech, the secret source, secret source of this horde army. Together, the Vorgen and the Stonehoof Torn were able to, able to get rid of the Ogre Mage, and that opens up space for my harpies. Now I'm able to start getting some stones. I have access to two stones. There's no anti-air there yet, so Harpies can go in. I'm sending a quill board to tank the fire hammer a little bit. I'm sending a stone hoof torrent. And now we, if we can get that fire hammer down, I think we're going to be golden. We actually lose the center stone. Mm, I'm not sure if I should have taken the stone with that. Well, either does it may. Now it looks quite alright. We're opening some chests. We're getting all the stones. And as soon as I can get the Pyromancer out there to handle the Harpies, I will be fine. I was just able to prevent the, losing the stone there by deploying the Kobold. And okay. Now everything is under control. Maybe. <laughs> Actually still a bit of a fight, but Tabata is now so starved for resources, there won't be much coming. Tabata's income must be pretty low if Tabata doesn't have access to gold. Tabata, I mean Tabata controls all stones, so Tabata can get the gold and the chest, and Tabata has mining harpies at the start. But as soon as you can throw her away from these resources, everything that's coming, it's so limited. And when you have right kinds of answers, harpies here, I'm getting positive gold trades all the time here. And Tabata just, just cannot keep up. This time I don't have the Abomination, and you can see that it is much harder without the Abomination here. But despite that, we're still gonna be fine. Oh, I lost that stone. That shouldn't matter too much. I have some Harpies coming in, trying to throw in, throw in some tanks. But as Harpies, sadly we're able to answer that a little bit. Checking whether there's anything that I need to pick up. There is a chest that I need to pick up. And now I would want to would want to fight for that stone. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, definitely the weakest performance I have had. But on the other hand, Tabata is not in a very strong position. Tabata is is quite wounded. And I have this harpy assault coming with the quill board to tank. No, two harpies were distracted. Well, I have one harpy coming. <laughs> Yeah, well, those hobbies were still doing fine, and I can actually just now send send the Vorgen, the secret Vorgen source, handling Tabitha. 
And finally, Tabata with Undead. Th this was really, this was like a walk in the park after I had to test a whole bunch again, like basically invent the comp anew to get it to work with Horde. And then now I'm getting back to using Abomination and I'm like, oh, Abomination, good times. Throwing away the miner, there's just, just to cycle it so that I can get the Abomination in. And now placing the Banshee so close to the Tauren that the Tauren cannot charge it. Because if you place stuff close to the Tauren, Tauren charge has a minimum range, Tauren will not charge into that mini, and then you will just be able to steal that. Not my favorite thing overall using the Banshee in this map, but it's, it's viable. It's definitely viable. You still need another tank in addition to the Banshee, but it can be done. They're stealing the stone, ensuring that no reinforcements can arrive. Now, if I just had an unbound, I would be able to grab the other stone. That's what I would want to do. But I need to cycle a little bit something. Getting in a pyromancer here, just in case that Tabitha wants to send something like harpies. And those harpies are now going to go a little bit too far ahead. So that actually didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to. But be that as it may, I have access to all the stones. I have access to all the gold, and from here I can just send in stuff, and Tabitha is going to die. So here we go, let's send in some stuff. And yeah, Tabitha's fate is already sealed, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing left. Tabitha is so start for resources, getting a single fire elemental there will change absolutely nothing. The yeah, abomination is abomination is there and boom. That's heroic tabata up to minus three levels. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.